Jerry, yeah. come over here. You got it. We got a problem here. Chief. Yep. This is Bethany Fortoro, Francis, Chief Manny. How do you do? Right this way. You're new. New to you. I was with Baltimore PD for nine years. I've been here too much. I like it. Anyway, we are looking at a male, approximately five to seven years old, decomp puts the body here six, seven years, maybe longer. It appears that blunt force trauma was the cause of death, single blow to the back of the head, just above the neck. Cranium's typically still pretty soft at that age. The boy never had a chance. Take a look at this. What is it? Missing persons file from eight years ago. Child Cameron Emery disappeared from his front yard. Not too far from where we found the body. Yeah, I heard about it. Bell went off. Five years old, the age fits. Uh, take a look at the last seen description of the clothing. It's a match right down to the tennis shoes. You had a good memory, Joe. It was my case. Last one I had before I made captain. One that got away. All right. I'll have Temple call the parents as soon as we ID the body. I'd uh, like to be the one to speak to them. Yeah. Okay. Eight years. I think I was still holding out hope. Boy's parents? Yeah. yeah. That's the mom, Tracy Riverton. That's her husband, Jeff. Little girl's Lisa. Who's the other guy? A lawyer? Ex husband. Barry Emery. Victor's father. No. Yeah. Excuse me, Chief. You got a moment? That's a bad time, Ella. How about in a few minutes? Oh, okay, sure. Do you have any idea who did this? Not yet. So, are you going to find out? Or do we have to wait another eight years before the person who murdered my son gets what he deserves? Henry, Jack Main, the chief of police. How do you do? Detective Page? Mr. and Mrs. Riverton? I'd like you to know how, how deeply sorry we are about your loss. Hi. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Hi. When are you expecting? Uh, the 23rd of next month. It's a little Sagittarius baby. Cameron was a... He was a Capricorn. <laughs> Why don't you take your wife home? <laughs> I agree, thank you. Miss Riverton, for what it's worth, we're gonna do everything in our power to find this animal. We won't hold our breath. Police! Open up! A couple of your neighbors reported a problem over here. You want to tell us what's going on? My husband and my son just got in a little misunderstanding. There's nothing we can't handle here ourselves. That kid's got to learn some respect. 14 years old. He's got to challenge everything I tell him. Everything! Ma'am, where's your son now? He's in his room. Well, you haven't come out. Yeah, if he's under my roof, he plays by my roof. Oh, oh, sir, calm down. Wait, don't I tell want me you what to, to have do seat. in my house. I'm trying to discipline this boy. I'm trying sir, to tell him things. have a seat.
I'm Officer Paris. This is Sergeant Cutter. What's your name? Ronnie. Ronnie Jr. Well, okay, Ronnie. You want to tell us what happened? Nothing. Well, what happened to your face? Your neck? Your dad do that to you? Oh, you trying to tell me how to raise my kid? Is that it? I provide for this family. This is my house. You want to stay in this house? You will keep your hands off that boy. <sighs> your father hit you, man? He didn't do nothing, all right? Wait a minute. I told you. Hey, I'm going in. Hey! What? I'm supposed to hang out here with you? All right. Let it go, Paris. Keep your hands off him. So you want to tell me what's going on, or uh, you just going to make me suffer? There's nothing going on. Something's going on because you've been treating me like a canker sore you can't shake for about a week now. If we work together, we don't have to like each other. You can handle that, right? Am I missing something here? Reno, Temple, what do you got on the Riverton case? We didn't have an hour and a half ago when you asked us the same question. You being a smart with me, detective? No, we were just... Uh... Yeah, Chief, we understand how important this case is to you. But right now, we're just waiting for some more work with forensics. We're about to go back over the file, put together a list of possibles. I want this case solved. Yes, sir. Thanks. You got it. Hey, don't forget to put down there how you used excessive force to keep that fine gentleman away from his kid. You fill it out. Hey. Is my birthday already? No. It's mine. Put it on. There he is. Thank you for coming, Eileen. You got fifteen minutes. Well, oh, you're that busy? Really getting the right candidate elected is all about money, which means all my days are about raising it, which means my work's never done, uh, which means you'd have 14 minutes I'll split the crab cakes with you. I already ordered you one. If I were a cynical woman, I'd say you're trying to bribe me, Nickleby. What's on that devious mind of yours? Oh, you think I'm devious? Not yet, but give him the chance. Uh, what do you think about Jack Manning running for mayor? Chief man. His popularity's higher than the presidents in this town? So is Mike Tyson's. Look, he's an out-of-the-box favorite. He's an impact player. You can sell him as a uh, 21st century Teddy Roosevelt. Sweetie, we're talking Capitol Hill, not San Juan Hill. I need a horse whisperer, not a bronco bust. No one in the history of the district has reduced crime like Jack Manning. Now, look, people appreciate that. That's a vote-getter. Nick, the district is 61% African-American. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now, Jack Manning's a white guy. All right. It is a practical. He's a man of the people. No. He's a man who puts people in jail. And those people have relatives who vote. Jack Mannion is the freshest thing to hit this town since uh, air conditioning. You like this. I know you do. Excuse me. And one extra. Okay. But here's what I don't see. I don't see Jack Mannion on the news enough. I don't see him working with politicians instead of against them. And I don't see him here right now asking for my help in person. If he were here, you wouldn't give it to him. That's exactly why you should. If Mannion wants to play ball, you better get in the game. All right. That's all I wanted to hear. Hey, Nick. Spectacular achievements are almost always preceded by unspectacular preparation. Oh, I love this, I love this. Don't do, don't, don't do it. Um, General Patton. Roger Staubach. He could have been quoting Patton. He's a Navy man. Should have known. What is it? The parental abuse tracking bill. Subcommittee's going to close their hearings on it. They're going to kill the bill. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Two weeks ago, you said it was a done deal, Nick. It's politics. You know, there's a lot of it going on in this town, Jack. Senators are a little uneasy to restrict personal freedoms of people. Loaded down the bill with so many appropriation riders, that, you know, you can sink a small super tanker. Can you get me in front of that committee? Yes, I think I can. 
Thank you. Hey. I just thought I forgot about you. Oh, I... I just was looking for some advice. Oh, boy. Should I be flattered or make my escape now? You know Wallace? Down in the print shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gray hair, glasses, about this high. Yeah, that's him. Well, I love that guy. N not too much, I hope. I think I have... No, I have to fire him. From a numbers standpoint, I can't justify his salary. You sure? Yeah, Chief. Print shop is a dinosaur's nest. If we just computerized, which means getting rid of Wallace, we could save 38% on the print shop budget. Then what's the issue? Well, I... I never fired anyone. Hmm. Be direct, be clear, don't make it personal. When it's over, you leave. Oh, thanks. This sounds easy. No, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard on both of you. But you'll do the right thing. So I put you in charge. Fine. Do it at the end of the day. Tomorrow. Riverton case still eating you? Oh, like it's making a meal out of me. All right. You want some help? No, thanks. I've got an update. Forensics on Cameron Emery. I'm not gonna like it. I found five healed limb fractures. Healed fractures? Seems in the five years this kid was alive, he broke his arm three times and his leg twice. Now, he could have been just an incredibly clumsy kid, but this is usually a pretty solid indication of one thing. Chronic and long-term child abuse. Temple, have Child and Family Services remove Lisa Riverton from her parents' house. I want her out of danger. We already got the call in, sir. Okay, we'll check her records of school, hospital, neighbors, see if we can find out. Debrino, you go deep on the ex-husband. Anything you can get on him, I want it. We're going to treat this as both a homicide and a child abuse investigation. All right, I like the tie. Put your shirt in. I can't win. Ferris, would you put up the numbers for the child abuse cases in the district over the past two years, please? Our children are twice as likely to be abused by their parents or a caretaker than they are a total stranger. Did you know that? What do you think we can do about that? Chief, domestic issues fall under the purview of Child and Family Services or the Family Welfare Agency. Now, outside of answering 911 calls, there's not much more we can do. Why not? Chief, part of the problem is, historically, if a school or a hospital notifies another agency, the police are generally not notified, unless there's bodily harm. We have no control over how much information these agencies are going to share with us or when. Now, the congressional hearing you're testifying before is dealing with a bill on tracking abuse of parents, but it's a budgetary issue. So it takes money to protect our children. But we know that children who have been abused are probably going to be abused again, and they will grow up to be abusers. Now, Ferris, would you put up the present inmate population of the United States of America, please? It's on the screen now. All right, now we know that half, no, more than half of these inmates were abused as children. Now, it seems to me that if we started focusing on these young children that are being abused, we would start to prevent the next generation of criminals. Now, that's something, and I'm sure all of you would agree, that I would be willing to spend my money on. So, we'll be notified of every child abuse case that's filed with child and family services, and I don't care if you get some interagency grief, just give them my phone number or. Give them Ella's phone number. Yes, sir, I'll give them a heads up. Enter. Chief, 
Child and Family Services refuses to remove Mr. Riverton from the household. That's ridiculous. Child's life's in danger. I tried to explain that, sir. They said they don't break up families on speculation. That they need hard evidence. Right now, we don't have any. And get some damn evidence. I'm working on it, sir. Then work faster. Move out. Well, if you find anything, let me know, okay? I loaned it to him. Thanks. You know, check this out. It's the Emery's divorce decree. And look at the reason Barry Emery left his wife. She was having an affair with current husband Jeff. How scandalous. Don't worry, yours will be just as juicy. Maybe more. But what this means is that Jeff Riverton had access to Cameron at the time the kid was murdered. You see that? Which makes him a suspect. Especially if you and Cameron saw Mommy taking a nap with a stranger. Riverton didn't want Daddy to find out. It's sick. It's a sick world, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, Howard, I need you to check something else for me. How'd I know we'd end up back here? You just be cool, right? Hey, listen to you. Police! Open up! Ronnie, they're nothing but a bunch of drug dealers and woods. Look at me. I'm not gonna let you hang with it no more. All right, you understand back it up. me? Back it Look, up. I'm talking to myself. No, back it up. I don't want you. I said back it up! I'm talking to myself. You back up! Do you hear me? Back it up! Now, does he need medical attention? I, I think he'll be all right. Let me see. Look, I didn't do nothing Turn here. Turn around and face the wall. Look, I didn't do that. What I do? Hey, hey, I didn't do nothing. Enough, ma'am. Enough, ma'am. Enough, ma'am. Enough, ma'am. Take me on, too. Look, huh? Jesus. Ma'am, calm down. You are not putting up enough of a fight? Stop. You're going to break my arm. Look, I fell. He hit his head. Just ask him. All right, what about it? Tell him. Tell him I didn't do nothing for him. It was an accident. I fell. He didn't touch me. All right, Paris, get up. Come on. Get up. What are you doing? Come on. Up, Boros. All right, you pack your bags. You're getting out of here tonight. Sarge. What are you talking about? You're going to throw me out of my own house? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's the best offer you're going to get now. I suggest you take it. Come in. Have a chair. Two times now. She coming to my house, she gonna humiliate me in front of my family. Mr. Broyles, you wanna file a complaint? We have a process for- Man, complaint? Complaint ain't gonna keep my kid alive. Don't you know them kids out there got no better than a 60% chance of winding up dead or in jail? I'm fighting for my son's life here. And if I strict with him, hell yeah! But let me tell you something. If things go bad, and he wind up like all the mothers, dead or in jail, I'm going to know that I did everything in my power, everything, to keep that boy alive. Mr. Broyles, I understand what you're up against. But I'm not going to let you beat your son. I have never laid a hand on that boy. What do I got to say? Whatever it is, now's the time. Do you want to file a complaint against Officer Paris? You just keep her away from me. This is, this is Officer Nancy Paris. Sir, in regards to the Broyles incident, I believe if you speak with my partner... I don't need to speak with your partner to know what's going on. Officer Paris sees herself as a victim. 
The victim of a child's fatal decision to walk in front of a patrol car. The victim of a sexual predator who stole her weapon. The victim of a love affair with a police officer, one of my friends, who was tragically murdered. And at the root of it all, the victim of an abusive father. Chief, I really don't see what that has to do. Sit down. Now, tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. You look me in the eye and tell me I'm wrong. All right, are you going to let all this color everything you do as a police officer? Or are you going to acknowledge that what happened to you as a child gives you an empathy and a sympathy that makes you an uncommonly effective police officer? One that I would be proud to serve with and one that I would hate to lose. Obviously the latter, sir. Then do it. It's not that easy. Why not? Because it just isn't. Then I'll make it easy for you stop whining stop complaining stop wallowing in self-pity nancy when there is no longer any value seen in suffering the healing is instantaneous The Parental Abuse Act. Law enforcement finally has a chance to protect those children whose greatest enemies are their own parents by granting law enforcement the power to track abusers from state to state, just like we currently do with sex offenders. Thank you. In the 1999, one. Okay. Uh, Chief Mannion, please, show some decorum and step down. Yeah, I was getting the distinct feeling that nobody was paying any attention. Now, excuse me, as I was saying, in 1999, 1,100 of our children were killed. 86% of those were six years of age or younger, and 80% were killed by one or more of their parents. Now, I will gladly show this committee its decorum as soon as you start paying those children some respect. Mr. Chair. Senators. One of the reasons government exists is to protect its citizens. Well, the citizens that need it most can't even vote. Our children. They don't have a say in your elections. They can't vote you out of office if you, if you fail them, and I'm going to speak for them. You have failed. We are failing. The decline and fall of any great civilization is not just brought about by the greed and corruption of its officials or by an, an invasion from a foreign army. The primary reason for a civilization's fall is the internal decay of its morals and the decline in its values. Now, this society is abusing and killing its children. Now, what the hell does that say about our values? It says that we are losing grip on a very basic, simple human emotion compassion do you have and are you willing to find the compassion for our children will you be accountable to them and will you be responsible for them I pray to God you are Queen. Haha. <laughs> 
thought you were better than this, Dad. Oh, I am, son. I am. See, I see what you're doing. Fisher versus Byrne, 1956. Your move. Man. All right, got to get back to you. Yeah. Rivertons. They had another baby after Lisa. 18-month-old boy named Trevor. And? He's dead. Official cause of death sits. Happened 10 months ago. Did you see the autopsy report? There was none. No signs of physical abuse. Right. These people are baby killers. They're working on the third, and I missed the first. Damn it. That's why this bill should pass. All right, we're going to exhume this kid's body. We're going to get an autopsy. I want you to get a hold of Fatoro, have her do it. We got any judges that uh, can help us out here? I think so. Well, call her! All three networks are going to do a story on them tomorrow night. I saw it live on C-SPAN this afternoon. What's with those shoes? Do you want to meet them? Damn right I do. All right, let me see what I can do. I can't make any promises, though. All right. What do you want? What do you got? Uh, for somebody who got here this year, you're acting mighty fresh. I'm a quick study. Then get to the point. What's it going to take to have him play on our team? I want to co-chair the campaign, I want to run the day-to-day, and I want to hire my own staff. Why aren't we ambitious? You can call the chief yourself if you like. He's in the book. And as if he'll take your call. I have to talk to my people. Well, I hope they'd listen. So I got a lot to lose. I could take the chief anywhere. Be careful how you handle the scorpion, Nick. I'm not afraid of you, Eileen. I'm talking about Mannion. All right, sir. Chief. Chief, you are right. Trevor Riverton didn't die of SIDS. I found traces of fiber in his lungs and his esophagus. Polyester. Consistent with what toy manufacturers use to make stuffed animals. Wait a minute. Are you saying that this kid was suffocated with a toy? There was bruising all over his lips and his gums, a result of pressure just prior to death. Simplest scenario? Somebody put a stuffed animal over this baby's mouth and held it there hard until the child expired. One other thing, I ran a toxicology screen. It showed abnormally high levels of lead in his blood. But as far as I can tell, it had nothing to do with the cause of death. Okay, thank you. Well, we can probably rule out the ex-husband. He was long out of the picture by the time this happened. Bring the Rivertons in. Bring them in. Right. You were supposed to be out looking for Cameron's killer. Instead, you dig my baby's body out of the ground without even asking me. What kind of a monster are you? According to the autopsy report, Trevor's death was a homicide. A homicide? What, are you crazy? Why are you doing this to us? It isn't enough what's already happened to Cameron. Now this? Oh! What, hun, honey? Oh. Are you okay? I don't feel good. Do you see what you were doing? I need to go. Yeah, yeah. This is our attorney. Any go. further contact you have with us will be through him. Eight years ago, you made a pledge to me. You promised you would help me through this. You promised. You did it. The bill passed committee. It's going to the floor for a vote. You are a hero. Huh? Well, that's how so. Isn't this something? You gotta kick people in the ass to get them to do the right thing. No, Jack, there is a mayoral race coming up. Special election, perhaps you've read about it. Why would I do that to myself? Well, because you're a charismatic leader that's uh, trapped in a job that limits his potential. Uh, Nick, I am a general who's commanding an army of 3,600 cops, facing an enemy that is better armed and more determined than any of those fat cats on Capitol Hill. Come on, I'm living my dream! I'm a cop. All right, now, look, just spare me the art of war speech. I'm serious. Not interested. You're selling yourself short, Jack. You could be so much more. Nick. Nobody is holding you back. 
You want to move on? Move on. Don't make this about me. I didn't. Wallace. Oh, Senate, please. Yeah. What can I do for you? Wallace, your arm. Oh, that. Well, that's that's nothing. I mean, it's slightly more than a sprain. I mean, well, I, you know, it's fractured actually, but but it's only a slight fracture. <laughs> what happened? Oh well, you know the old girl here. She's uh, she acts up sometimes. She gets kind of temperamental. <laughs> I, I keep her running with uh, a little bit of Jerry Reagan, a lot of TLC. <laughs> that uh, last night I was realigning the drive belt wheels here and uh, a wrench bar. <laughs> I guess around here the only thing more brittle than she is is me. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to get rid of the whole thing. Get rid of her, M Miss Farmer? Do you know? What a treasure she is. I mean, the typeface, the typeface on this machine has a look that cannot be matched. And, and, and the ink, the ink is so rich and, and deep. And look, look, that this, this is art, art. Oh, my gosh. Wow, what can I do for you? I, uh... What are you looking at? You got a problem? I don't know, Temple. Why don't you tell me? I've been catching your crap all week now. I think it's time for you to fess up and tell me what the hell's going on here. I took the heat for you and you crashed our car because I wanted to help you with your kids. Yeah. And I'm grateful for that. What do you want? Flowers? You're a liar. What? What the hell are you talking about? I heard you tell your wife to cover for you in case I asked about it. What? It's always about you, isn't it, Temple? Hey, all I know is what I heard. No, 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 you don't know what you heard. All right, well, okay. then tell me what I heard, man. Well, you want to know? Yeah. All right. My brother-in-law wanted me to help him move, so I had my wife give him some BS excuse to get him off my back. Satisfied? Look, I understand that I got a bad rep as far as the truth goes, and I've probably earned it, but I'm trying to change, Temple. I can't make you believe me. All I can do is tell you it's the truth. Yes. Thanks, Penny. You got brothers and sisters, Paris? Two older brothers, a uh, younger sister. Parents still alive? Oh, yeah. Alive and kids. Dad must be pretty tough on you kids, huh? No. Why do you say that? Well, you went off on broils. Chief talked to you, huh? Look, Sarge, it's none of your business, okay? Just leave it alone. No, you go off on somebody. You're riding with me. You make it my business. But it's okay if you go off on some black kid because you don't like the way he wears his hat. Hey, hey, don't turn this back on me. I'm just asking you a question. If you don't want to answer it. That's fine. My dad used to beat up on my brothers. He ever hit you? 6042, dispatch. 6042? 6042, we have a domestic disturbance report. 555, Astor Place. What's your 20? It's Bro's place. So, he's at it again. 6042, acknowledge. Oh my god. Harris, call for an ambulance. 6042, we need an ambulance at our current location. Repeat an ambulance to our current location. 6042, 
Oh, I got some bad news for you. He's gonna make it. You know who did it? Came out of his house. He was jumped by four or five guys. Ronnie's friends. What, am I supposed to feel bad for him? Because that boy's friends did what we can't, protected him? You don't know what happened, okay? Oh, Cutter, I can imagine. Tell them. Go ahead, tell them. He never listens to me. No matter what I say, I'm wrong. You tell them what you let your friends do to your father. I didn't mean for him to hurt him. I swear it was just talk. I just wanted to scare him, get him off of me. Honey, has your father ever laid a hand on you? I'm talking about has he ever hit you, ever beat you up? The truth, now. No. I swear it was just talk, Mama. What am I looking at? Autopsy results for camera and emery. Now look at the toxicology panels. My levels of lead. Exact same for the baby. All right, now here. Lisa Riverton, one of her teachers said she showed signs of lethargy and a drop in grade performance. These are all possible signs of lead-based poisoning. All right. So what are you saying? I remember the basement in the Riverton house. Hadn't been painted in over 40 years. Lead-based paint. Exactly. To get those kind of levels, those three kids must have spent a lot of time in that basement. And if that's where Cameron met his end, it's got to be a murder weapon down there, hammer, tool, even a, a chunk of concrete. If we can match anything in that basement to a wound pattern. Eight years ago, I'm looking for a missing child. Not a crime scene in the basement. Go get him, Jim. God, I could kiss you. First you dig up our dead son, and now what? What are you accusing us now? What, torturing our children? Mr. Riverton, be quiet. We got something back here. Temple, give me a hand, will you? It's locked, sir. What's behind the door? I have never seen that door before. You mean you don't have a key? No, I'm just seeing it now for the first time. You do live here, don't you? I live upstairs. Open it. Lisa, would it be all right if I asked you some questions? Yeah, it's okay, sweetie. Everything's okay. You see the tea set? <laughs> oh, yeah? You like to have tea parties? There you go. Some for Dad? Lisa, we know about the room in the basement. Did your mommy ever put you in that room? Only when I was bad. You were bad. So when your mother got mad, she would put you in that room. Did she ever put Trevor in that room? 
He wouldn't be quiet. So mommy made him be quiet. How'd she make him be quiet? With Brussels. She pressed Brussels on his face to make him stop crying. Brussels was, uh, was Travis' teddy bear. Teddy bear. I miss Trevor. You're a very brave little girl, Lisa. Here is my daughter. Wait right there. Where is Lisa? Just tell me where she is, okay? Just stop talking to her, Jeffrey! You're too late, Miss Rivet, and Lisa told us what happened. Lisa? I'm sorry, Mommy. What did you say to them? What did you tell them? What did you say to them? What did you say to them? What did you say to the liar? She is a lying brat. You cannot believe her. The liar. The liar. I made you a promise eight years ago. Now I'm keeping it. Take her downstairs and book it. Jeffrey, 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 do something. Jeffrey. So how'd it go with Wallace? Well, like you said, it wasn't easy. Uh-huh. You didn't fire him, did you? Wallace is talented and passionate and smart about his work. He's just entirely underutilized, and we just don't have a use for him here. So I, I made a couple of calls. Turned out I've got a friend over at the Bureau of Printing and Engraving, and I sent Wallace over there for a meeting, and they are crazy about him. Well, as crazy as they get over at uh, Printing and Engraving. But the bottom line is this. We get to save the money. Wallace gets a great big raise. And you made it happen. It's all about creating an opportunity for victory. Sansu. Mm, you're not the only one who reads him. So glad I'm rubbing off on somebody around here. <laughs> Good night, Ellen. Good night. Good night, Chief. Good night, Joe. Good night, Chief. This is the Biography Channel. You want to be yourself, but you're not allowed to be yourself. This is the Biography Channel. I was just beside myself with anger and disappointment. This is the Biography Channel. I'm the only actress he knows you have to pay to keep your clothes on. Reality meets personality, only on the Biography Channel. Biography Channel. What a concept! Chief Manny. How's it going? Right this way. You're new. New to you. I was with Baltimore PD for nine years. I've been here too much. I like it. Anyway, we are looking at a male, approximately five to seven years old. Decomp puts the body here six, seven years, maybe longer. It appears that blunt force trauma was the cause of death. Single blow to the back of the head, just above the neck. 
Cranium's typically still pretty soft at that age. The boy never had a chance. Take a look at this. What is it? Missing persons file from eight years ago. Child Cameron Emery disappeared from his front yard. Not too far from where we found the body. Yeah, I heard about it. Bell went off. Five years old, the age fits. Uh, take a look at the last seen description of the clothing. It's a match right down to the tennis shoes. Got a good memory, Joe. It was my case. That's one I had before I made captain. One that got away. All right. I'll have Temple call the parents as soon as we ID the body. I'd uh, like to be the one to speak to them. Yeah. Eight years. I think I was still holding out hope. Boy's parents? Yeah. That's the mom, Tracy Riverton. That's her husband, Jeff. Little girl's Lisa. Who's the other guy? A lawyer? Ex husband. Barry Emery. Victor's father. No. Yeah. Excuse me, Chief. You got a moment? That's a bad time, Ella. How about in a few minutes? Oh, okay, sure. Do you have any idea who did this? Not yet. So, are you going to find out? Or do we have to wait another eight years before the person who murdered my son gets what he deserves? Emory, Jack Main, the chief of police. How do you do? Detective Page? Mr. and Mrs. Riverton? I'd like you to know how, how deeply sorry we are about your loss. Hi. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Hi. When are you expecting? Uh, the 23rd of next month. It's a little Sagittarius baby. Cameron was a... He was a Capricorn. <laughs> Why don't you take your wife home? <laughs> I agree, thank you. Miss Riverton, for what it's worth, we're gonna do everything in our power to find this animal. We won't hold our breath. Open up. A couple of your neighbors reported a problem over here. You want to tell us what's going on? My husband and my son just got in a little misunderstanding. There's nothing we can't handle here ourselves. That kid's got to learn some respect. 14 years old. He's got to challenge everything I tell him. Everything. Ma'am, where's your son now? He's in his room. Well, you haven't come out. Yeah, if he's under my roof, he plays by my roof. Oh, oh, sir. Calm down. Wait, don't I tell want me you what to, to do in my house. I'm trying to discipline this boy. I'm trying Sir, to tell him things. Have a seat. I'm Officer Paris. This is Sergeant Cutter. What's your name? Ronnie. Ronnie Jr. Well, okay, Ronnie. You want to tell us what happened? Nothing. Well, what happened to your face, your neck? Your dad do that to you? Whoa. You're trying to tell me how to raise my kid? Is that it? I provide for this family. This is my house. You want to stay in this house? You will keep your hands off that boy. <sighs> your father hit you, man? He didn't do nothing, all right? Wait a minute. I told you. Hey, I'm going in. Hey! What? I'm supposed to hang out here with you? All right. Let it go, Paris. Keep your hands off him. 
So you want to tell me what's going on, or uh, you just gonna make me suffer? There's nothing going on. Something's going on because you've been treating me like a canker sore you can't shake for about a week now. If we work together, we don't have to like each other. You can handle that, right? Am I missing something here? Reno, Temple, what do you got on the Riverton case? We didn't have an hour and a half ago when you asked us the same question. You being a smart with me, detective? No, we were just... Uh... Hey, Chief, we understand how important this case is to you. But right now, we're just waiting for some more work for forensics. We're about to go back over the file, put together a list of possibles. I want this case solved. Yes, sir. Thanks. You got it. Hey, don't forget to put down there how you used excessive force to keep that fine gentleman away from his kid. You fill it out. Hey. Is it my birthday already? No. It's mine. Put it on. There he is. Thank you for coming, Eileen. You got fifteen minutes. Well, you're that busy? Sweetie, getting the right candidate elected is all about money, which means all my days are about raising it, which means my work's never done, uh, which means you'd have 14 minutes of splitting crab cakes with you. I already ordered you one. If I were a cynical woman, I'd say you're trying to bribe me, Nickleby. What's on that devious mind of yours? Oh, you think I'm devious? Not yet, but give him the chance. Uh, what do you think about Jack Manning running for mayor? Chief Manning. Popularity's higher than the presidents in this town? So is Mike Tyson's. Look, he's an out-of-the-box favorite. He's an impact player. You can sell him as a uh, 21st century Teddy Roosevelt. Sweetie, we're talking Capitol Hill, not San Juan Hill. I need a horse whisperer, not a bronco bust. No one in the history of the district has reduced crime like Jack Manning. Now, look, people appreciate that. That's a vote-getter. Nick, the district is 61% African-American. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jack Manning's a white guy. All right. It is impractical. Say. He's a man of the people. No. He's a man who puts people in jail. And those people have relatives who vote. Jack Manning is the freshest thing to hit this town since uh, air conditioning. You like this. I know you do. Excuse me. And one extra. Okay. But here's what I don't see. I don't see Jack Manning on the news enough. I don't see him working with politicians instead of against them. And I don't see him here right now asking for my help in person. If he were here, you wouldn't give it to him. That's exactly why you should. If Mannion wants to play ball, you better get in the game. Yeah. That's all I wanted to hear. Hey, Nick. Spectacular achievements are almost always preceded by unspectacular preparation. Oh, I love this. I love this. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Um, General Patton. Roger Staubach. He could have been quoting Patton. He's a Navy man. Should have known. What is it? The parental abuse tracking bill. The subcommittee's going to close their hearings on it. They're going to kill the bill. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two weeks ago, you said it was a done deal, Nick. It's politics. You know, there's a lot of it going on in this town, Jack. Senators are a little uneasy to restrict personal freedoms of people. Loaded down the bill with so many appropriation riders, you know, it's like a small super tanker. Can you get me in front of that committee? Yes, I think I can. Thank you. Hey. Bet you thought I forgot about you. Oh, I... I just was looking for some advice. Oh, boy. Should I be flattered or make my escape now? You know Wallace? Down in the print shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gray hair, glasses, about this high? Yeah, that's him. Well, I love that guy. N not too much, I hope. I think I have... No, I have to fire him. From a numbers standpoint, I can't justify his salary. Are you sure? Yeah, Chief. 
French app is a dinosaur's nest. If we just computerized, which means getting rid of Wallace, we could save 38% on the print shop budget. Then what's the issue? Well, I... I never fired anyone. Hmm. Be direct, be clear, don't make it personal. And when it's over, you leave. Oh, thanks. This sounds easy. No, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard on both of you. But you'll do the right thing. That's why I put you in charge. Fine. Do it at the end of the day. Tomorrow. Riverton K still eating you? More like it's making a meal out of me. All right. You want some help? No, thanks. I've got an update. Forensics on Cameron Emery. You're not gonna like it. I found five healed limb fractures. Healed fractures? Seems in the five years this kid was alive, he broke his arm three times and his leg twice. Now, he could have been just an incredibly clumsy kid, but this is usually a pretty solid indication of one thing. Chronic and long-term child abuse. Temple Head Child and Family Services removed Lisa Riverton from her parents' house. I want her out of danger. We already got the call in, sir. Okay, we'll check the records of school, hospital, neighbors, see if we can find out. Debrino, you go deep on the ex-husband. Anything you can get on him, I want it. We're going to treat this as both a homicide and a child abuse investigation. All right, I like the tie. Put your shirt in. I can't win. Ferris, would you put up the numbers for the child abuse cases in the district over the past two years? Our children are twice as likely to be abused by 